Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today we were going to walk through my bronzer collection. So just first off, I am a complete beauty junkie. Um, I have way too many products, so please don't judge. <laughs> Um, as I was digging this out, you guys are helping me organize because I had gotten a question about my favorite bronzers and I was kind of pulling some things out and I was like, wow, um, I do have some bronzers to share with you. So I thought I would just kind of go through my collection with you and then we can kind of talk about my favorites as well. Um, so First off, I thought I would start off with some of my favorite cream bronzers because I tend to really like those cream bronzers. Um, I mean, I go through phases, but I just love the way they kind of meld into the skin and they just kind of fuse and look a little bit more natural. So I would say um, I, of course, have the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. You guys, this stuff is just awesome and you get a lot of product. Um, I have had this, I don't know if you can see, but I've had this for a while and I don't even think I've scratched the surface. Absolutely love it. I love to use it with a little um, stippling brush and just kind of on. I just think it's just amazing. Um, I, I don't know. I love this and I, I actually think that you get a lot of bang for your buck with this guy. Um, so this one is well loved. Then this year I discovered the Westman Atelier line and you guys I fell in love with this is kind of a contour stick but I use it as bronzer or you know I feel like it warms up my skin and this is in the shade Biscuit. And you guys, it is just an awesome, I, I love it. And it's just creamy, easy to put on. And again, this is something that I will just kind of carve out um, a little bit and then buff it into the skin. So really easy. Actually, I want to take a little swatch. I've always been curious about the difference in the shade between the Chanel dance. Uh, yeah, okay. So you guys, one really is more of a contour. Uh, the biscuit is from Westman Atelier. Um, so I kind of use it <laughs> bronzer slash. So this is the Westman Atelier biscuit and that's definitely, it's a contour trace stick. And then this is the Chanel um, de Soleil. And so obviously this is more of a warm bronze and this is a cool kind of contour shade. So those ones are, um, those are, two of my absolute favorites. And then you guys, this is very well loved. This is the Hourglass Alum Sheer Color Trio. And I honestly wish that they just had this bronzer shade because obviously I even hit pan. I love this and I also love this really natural highlight. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm not a huge fan of this blush. It's not the, the color is beautiful. It just doesn't have any staying power whatsoever. I'm, I don't know. I mean, I would, I would totally repurchase this. So just so you know, but this is just a beautiful, um, easy to use melts right into your skin bronzer. And then let's do this. You guys, this is gonna, if you can see, this is the hourglass. So it's more of a contour slash bronzer. I mean, here's Biscuit, which is definitely contour, the Chanel, and then we've got the Hourglass. Um, I just love it. This is just, this is a favorite product of mine. And then we're gonna move on to some liquid bronzers. And so I have the um, Chantecaille Radiance Gel Bronzer. And I do really like this. I go through phases um, when I use, you know, this is another one that I enjoy using when I'm using more cream and liquid. So you guys, this one is gonna be right here and it is definitely a little bit warmer as you can see. Um, 
but it's very pretty and it's easy to use. So again, you just kind of dot it on with your fingertips. I like to use a little buffing brush. It is gorgeous. Um, and then another one <laughs> that's going to give you the J-Lo glow is the Giorgio Armani uh, fluid sheer and this is in number three and you guys when this um i did a video about this but uh you know they were doing the j-lo glow on me but when i first when they put this um like out i was like oh my gosh it looks so orange that i was like oof you know this is gonna look very scary on my skin um, but it actually is just a really sheer, beautiful color. Can you see that luminosity there? So it really does sheer out. It's a really beautiful product, but I, there's so much product in here. I'm never going to get through that. Um, so those would be like my favorite creams and liquid brushes. Um, what am I saying? Blushes. Bronzers. And then I was going to move on to um, some of the powder products. So we need an intervention. I, I, I even just recently bought a new bronzer because you know, <laughs> and I obviously do not need one. Um, but let me start with a few of the more um, tried and true that I have used. One of my favorite um, bronzers is the Rodeol. This is Insta Glam. Um, bronzing powder and you guys it's just a really beautiful um, nice not shimmery this is going to be matte you guys their their products are just like butter um, I'm gonna try to swatch over here um, and this is a just a really pretty more warm um, but not too orangey bronzer it's very pretty you guys, these powders are just super finely milled, absolutely gorgeous. Um, the other one that was a longtime favorite was, of course, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. My daughter and I um, both, she kind of used, it's almost pan, but we both really liked this one. And I think I like this one because, again, it is um, matte but it is just a little bit cooler, not quite as warm and orangey as you can see. And then we have the Westman Atelier, and this is, I think it's called something like their Butter Bronzer, um, Coupe de Soleil Beauty Butter, or Bronzer Butter. You guys, I don't um, reach for this. I need to pull this out because it is gorgeous. I think that the shade is a little bit warm or, you know, you need to use a light hand on it. Actually, it's really quite pretty. Um, so I need to pull that out. That's what I was laughing about. I was like, oh, I don't feel like I don't have a matte bronzer when in fact I had several to choose from. I just needed to clean out my stash. <laughs> Um, very typical. Okay, then um, you guys, I have this one I've been wanting to mention for a while, but this is this NARS um, Atomic Blonde palette. You guys, this really is just a beautiful, I sort of bought it because I love these eyeshadows. I thought this looked a little bit dark, but this is a beautiful highlight and um, bronzer and this is a little bit dark for me I can use it during the summer with a very light hand and I'm going to you guys this I'm sorry these are not swatching super well and that's this one um, but this is this was a really beautiful like during the summer I love this bronzy eye look I really liked this with a very light hand and a beautiful highlighter here so that was one that I used for a while and then one of my all-time favorites you guys and I still use this all the time is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast this is just one of my favorites when I first bought it, I thought it was a little bit too light. This is just super buttery. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. So that would be one of those. Um, I just think it's a really pretty shade. 
And you guys, one thing about this guy, I love it as eyeshadow. So this is kind of one, I use this bronzer, eyeshadow, it's just, you can use that with any bronzers, but this one is just a really beautiful eyeshadow shade as well. Gorgeous. Um, okay, I love Hourglass powder products, bronzers, and I have one standalone, and this is Diffused Bronze Light. And you guys, again, these do not swatch well. I wish that they did. Um, I'm gonna see if you can kind of see that. I am going to, see, oh, there we go. Um, okay. I will try to do a better um, look, but if you are light to medium in skin tone, this is kind of veering a little bit cooler. Um, it is gorgeous, but again, I kind of have to use a little bit of a light hand on this. Uh, it can kind of look a little reddish, like it's pretty potent, but such a beautiful, it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Not shimmer, but it is got some radiance. It is just a beautiful bronzer. Now, the other one that I have is in one of these um, palettes. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. And again, you guys, this one I would totally buy in a standalone, but obviously I don't need it. Um, but if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I've actually used, this one's flattened down. Like some of the other ones have like the little ridge, but this guy is used very much. I love, love, love this bronzer. It is absolutely beautiful. And I think Hourglass powder products are amazing in general. Um, I'm gonna pull this out. I think this one is more of a um, limited edition, but every year they come out with one. But I have the By Terry Sun Designer Palette, and this is in Savannah Love. And you guys, these, this is just, if you swirl all of these together, it is bronzer, blush, everything all in one. Um, these are just a really cool formula. I, I really, uh, you know, if you have your hands, if you have some of these different ones, these are just super pretty. Again, very finely milled powder. It's going to give you a little bit of glow on your cheek. Um, but not over the top. So um, I just like how you can use, you know, this is probably, I like to mix them all together, but this is a really deep, warm kind of bronze. And then you've got this little peachy kind of, it's just, and that's the highlighter. These again are the blushes and highlighter. I tend to just kind of um, take a little blush like this. And then I just kind of go right across all of them across the way and then i will just um put a little bit sculpt it on with my favorite brush it's just these are so pretty um okay moving on we're really getting there i'm not that <laughs> i'm a little bit okay i have a couple more oh okay so of course i have charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow you guys very well loved. This is just a nice, I mean, I like it because I can use it as contour, bronzer. It's just a really pretty, I, I still use this guy all the time. Um, and I'm hoping to actually hit pan one day. This is one of my favorites. Just a great a universal shade. They also have, I mean, not universal, but now they have it in a uh, more for medium to tan, to dark tan skins versus for the light to medium. So this is just a great combo, really enjoy it. And then you guys, I have a, um, I pulled this out. I do not use this one very often. This is the Terracotta. This is from Guerlain. They do beautiful bronzers. Um, that was probably way back in the day, my very first bronzer I ever bought. Um, I have this little beauty and it is just almost a tad light and to be honest with you it's so heavily perfumed um that i think i put this away i would when i was having a rosacea outburst you know i just a lot of these scented cosmetics um especially powder products i mean it smells lovely but it's perfumed um <laughs> 
bouncer. So just not really um, appropriate for my skin. It was a little bit light. Like I it didn't feel like it was giving me enough oomph. And this is the one for um, blonde. It says O2 Natural Blondes, but it's very pretty. It was kind of a bronzer and a little peachy pink blush. Very pretty. Um, I don't use that that often. And then last but not least, when of course I needed to just go to my stash, but I had been wanting to purchase one of the um, Marc Jacobs bronzer. You know, I was kind of in between Tom Ford, the, but I couldn't decide between the Terra, and then I'd heard that there was one formula that was more gelée that was better, and they didn't sell it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. So I this one gets is so much love and this is the Tantastic in Marc Jacobs um, and you guys it is just a really pretty I'm still kind of playing around with it um, but I, I do have to say I think you guys were right I really like this as eyeshadow as a little crease color um, and it's just a really great bronzer so when I am out there thinking that I need a bronzer as we come into, you know, now we're gonna get into spring launches and then summer, I'm gonna be like, ooh, I need to get a new bronzer. We're gonna try to refrain because I have plenty to work through. Um, and then I was just gonna say a couple of my favorite little brushes and I would love to hear your favorite bronzer brushes, but I really love this Armani um, this little brush, I love to use that for my bronzer. It is just super great. And you can use this with the sheer or with powder. Love it. Um, and then I have the It Cosmetics. This is the Mega Fan. It's very dense and it, um, again, you can kind of sculpt out. I almost think this is a little too big, but um, I do like this one. And then I have just a basic um, powder. This is powder, but I kind of use it as my bronzer. Oh, actually it is a bronzer. Okay, I have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer brush, lo and behold, um, which I really do like as well. And um, I would love to hear what your favorite brushes are for bronzer. Okay, that is my little stash here. <laughs> Um, thank you for the requests with your questions. This really helps me get organized. I'm gonna try to use up these products that I already have. And then again, I still would love to hear what your favorite bronzers are and why, because you know, the junkie in me might be like, ooh, I have to go try that. But anyways, this is what I currently have and own and use and um, you guys, thank you. You are amazing, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.